This is version 2.0 of the Interactable Door plugin, and there have been some major changes, including a pretty much a complete overhaul with how the doors are actually, well, set up. So previously, instead of having, you know, a single rotating door with all the features in one class for both controlling it via code, as well as animation, this has been broken up into several. So now if you go to our content folder here, instead of door blueprints, we have four different blueprints. Now, the underscore static doors, those are the ones that are using static meshes. So there's no animations or anything like that involved in actually controlling the door. For example, if I walk up to this door, this one's static. It's controlled via code. So code is what is actually driving the door's rotation. Whereas this one, is controlled via animation as you can see like so this one's just door standard this one's door standard static now same thing goes for the sliding doors so this sliding door is using animation and this one is using code to control it like as you can see like so and here's the animation and for the most part the settings are this roughly the same. So for example, with the code controlled door, well sliding door, you have the basic things like the door lock, you can't control it until the door is fully opened or closed and that kind of thing. You can choose to have the door start locked, that's for all doors. And we have the door sliding speed and whether or not we wanted to slide linearly. So currently linear is checked. So as the door slides open, it's going to be a consistent rate. Whereas if we uncheck this and slide it, as you can see, it starts off quick, but slows down towards the end. Now, as far as the open location and the closed location is, well, goes, those are the starting points and the ending points. So if I select the door mesh, door mesh is the actual door itself, and the door still mesh is the frame and the slide glass here that stands still. So there's two parts to the static, so that you can use a static mesh as a sliding door. You just combine them and use them however you want but as you can see here for the location this would be the starting location so you could just copy that once you have it in place then move it to where you want it to be open to and copy that and both of those would be pasted inside of closed location and open location so that's how that is handled and then you have you know basic things such as there we go such as the sound, so what sound is it going to play when the door is open, when it's closed, when it starts to close, when it locks, unlocks, random selection between locking and unlocking if you choose to have it go this way, and that sort of thing. So you can still lock and unlock these. Well, these two are set to not use the door lock, so there's no controlling the locks on those, but you can just simply check it if you want it to. Now, as far as the static mesh goes for the rotating door, you also have an option to use physics, just like before. So if I enable make door physics based, if I run into the door, it's now controlled by physics. And that's what's rotating the actual door itself. So it's no longer driven by code or anything like that. It's just pure force. Now, everything is like before is replicated. And due to a request from someone, they requested a door switch so that way you can toggle the doors through a separate switch so that's what I've done here just quickly modded up a door switch did some texturing and wrote the code for it now the way the door switch works it's found right in the root of the content folder you can choose what doors you want to control it by so for example if I start out with nothing I can walk up to the switch activate it deactivate it it's all the same, but it's not controlling anything because I have to set it to the doors. So what I can do is I can add an element under door control, click this little eyedropper, and select whatever door I want to use it with. So for example, I'll select the sliding mesh or the sliding static door, and I'll also select uh, the static rotating door as well. And this works for animations too. So now when I activate the switch, it controls both. all the same. So that's how the door switch 
works. Now a quick pointer for how to set up the physics-based animations, well the physics-based uh, driven door. You come down here to physics constraint and by default let's say you freshly placed it, it will look like this. What you do is under constraint actor 1, click the little eyedropper and simply select the door. And as you can see now it has a red bounding box and that's what allows the door to be actually activated and working correctly with the physics constraints. So, that is currently what is offered now in version 2.0. And as usual, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to ask. And if you have any suggestions on things that you would like to see, please give them to me and I will greatly consider implementing them because I want to make this as well-rounded as possible for the end user. So that way, pretty much everything that you could possibly think of in terms of, you know, interacting with doors and stuff like that, are in this plugin, so it's a simple one-stop shop, and you don't need to have several different ones that all accomplish similar things in a different way. So, as usual, the, uh, there will be a link to this in the marketplace, so you can check it out, and I hope you enjoy it.